Minecraft Dungeons. It's an isometric dungeon crawler with procedural generation where you progress through the levels picking up loot in the form of a melee range weapon, equipment, and three items. I played this through Game Pass on the original Xbox, but it's available on all consoles and Windows 10. This is a play on the Minecraft universe. There isn't crafting or building. It's just going through a handful of levels. There aren't too many, but there is a kind of a new game plus mode that you can play after beating the main mode in two jumps in difficulty past the default. It's going in the Lego game lighthearted type of a plot. The Arch Illager is the big baddie. He is rejected by the communities of Minecraft. In the Minecraft universe he acquires the Orb of Dominance which helps him take control of over all the creatures, and you're going through the levels with the brief explanation of how you're undermining his operation, like his monsters, witches, and other machinations and things, etc. And that's about it. It's a short plot, and there's not too many levels in the game either. It's a dungeon crawler akin to a lot of roguelite type of games. The procedural generation is mainly limited to the smaller enemies. You'll have the same types of enemies in each map, but the numbers of each could be different. Like there could be more skeletal archers compared to the melee zombies. The bosses though are the same and they'll attack you at the same point going through the map. There's RPG elements like you'll have, you can make enemies fight each other or you'll set them on fire. The loot aspect when you're in multiplayer, it's color coded. So you notice here I have an aqua and yellow character and then an aqua weapon, only the aqua character can pick up. The loot, you have the items, the melee ranged, and the gear, your equipment, along with uh, three smaller items. You see in the bottom there, there is the three slots, and then I have my health potion. All of these are on a cooldown. They're not consumable. On my first look, first time I was concerned that you couldn't die, but how it works is you can die only a handful of times, and then it's game over. If you're playing with a group, it's when the entire group dies, and then you lose that one life. But then you start back a little ways in a checkpoint. Along with this, later on, after you beat the game, the difficulty does go up, and there are other things that uh, change how the game plays along with the new gear. There is a camp, they call it, a map to explore in between levels, but there's not a whole lot really to explore. It's just for the excuse of going to gem chests to get coins, to buy loot. If you don't like the, the loot that you did pick up in the level, the loot is dependent upon your level. You'll get that level type of loot in two types of shops, where it's either an item slot or it is everything else. As your character level ups, you get, it's called enchantments, you can use to buff your three, the, the top items, the melee, the ranged, and then your equipment. And e different equipment does different things, but you'll have the same type of items even if you're a higher level, just the strength of that item will be more compared to a lower level. So it's not like you're going to have uh, individual items later on, and you do get more when you go back through the game at a higher difficulty. Here's an example you're seeing with the halberd I have here. It does more damage, but there'll be other things like uh, it'll have knockback, or it could slow an enemy, or it can make them attack their other mobs, set them on fire, etc. Same thing like with the gear that I have, like the wolf armor. And the good thing with Minecraft is it does change aesthetically how you look depending on what you are equipping in your character. Game is definitely made with multiplayer in mind. At the end of a mission, you're always fighting the boss for the level, and then you have this area where you can collect like loot for the rest of the level, and then the level ends, and then where there is a timer. There's no pause function uh, with the game, oddly, even if you're playing in offline mode. There's a total of nine levels only in the entire game. Now you'll be going back through them later on either to do some light grinding or otherwise if you bump up the difficulty and start the game over. The gear and the artifacts, that's your items, are in the bottom there and then you see your level that you're currently at and the recommended level to beat the game. I only found the last level though to be one that I actually grinded a couple levels for so I was a few levels above it to beat it. 
After beating the game, there are two more difficulties, and it doesn't only increase the base difficulty, they add more items, and the type of enemies change too, because you, there are these enchantments that modify how a uh, player interacts, like it might have certain buffs in the same way that you have certain buffs, like the, the lighting on fire thing, or they may just have more health. And then there's also one above that as well, with Apocalypse difficulty. Multiplayer is offline and online. Unfortunately, there's no combo co-op, so you can't have someone with you on your couch and then you play with either randoms or friends. Online multiplayer is limited to only friends. There is no matchmaking where you can join a random game or someone can randomly join your game. Just limited to friends. Not too bad, at least on console. Uh, there was one time I was stuck on a fence. This happened to me on the second to last level, and then the person playing with me spawn jumped to me, and then we were both stuck in the same fence. So here you just have to restart the game. The one that is much more common is enemies are sometimes behind the barrier where they're just stuck there looking at you, as you can see in the, right above me. That'll happen at times, but it, at least it doesn't break the game. And this one is not that frequent either. It'll happen a handful of times. It'll be just a few enemies. I don't recommend the game. The design of it and how it functions as an RPG is too simple and basic. And the enemies that you'll fight, it gets old after a while. The equipment that you're collecting, even though it does change up, you'll have that same level just higher, and it'll be doing the same thing. Also, the customization is limited to enchantments. So st stuff that you want to have control of, agency of, it in an RPG is removed. Huge exception, though, is playing with kids, or if you're playing with other people, and the last group, people that are new to RPGs looking to jump in, then it can be worth it, especially if you're playing with a group because you're going to be using the Adventure and Apocalypse di difficulty, so you have some replay value there to work with. If you like this video, please give a like, subscribe if you really liked it. If you're picking this up on Game Pass, check out the links below, and I will see you next time. Boo, boo, boo.